Welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. In this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Cricut pens and what kinds of projects I use them. Now let's begin. These are some of the Cricut pens. I'm going to show you some of their characteristics and how do I use them with a Cricut machine. Cricut pens come in different colors and strokes. For example, here you can see fine point, medium, gel, calligraphy pens. Here you can see the different pen points. This is the fine point pen of 0.4 millimeters. This is the medium pen of one millimeter. This is the gel glitter pen of 0.8 millimeters. This is the calligraphy pen of two millimeters. And finally, this is the calligraphy pen of 2.5 millimeters. Before placing the pen into your Cricut cutting machine, it is essential to test it to ensure it is working correctly. Sometimes the point may be a little dry, which may need some preparation to ensure the ink is ready. I'm going to use this text to show you the strokes of Cricut pens. To get the best results while using Cricut pens, I recommend sticking to Cricut fonts with a writing style. I'm going to show you an example. For this, I'm going to duplicate this line and change the style to bold. I'm also going to change the fill to white so you can see the letters. When using other font without a writing style, the pen will only trace the outline and not fill the letters. I'm going to delete this line because I'm not going to use it. Now I'm going to select which pens are going to trace each line. For the first line, I'm going to select fine point 0.4 millimeters, color black. Next line, glitter pen 0.8 millimeters, color gold. Next line, medium pen 1 millimeter, color silver. Finally, I'm going to select the calligraphy pens for the other two lines. One is two millimeters and the other 2.5, color gold. Select everything and click on attach. Now click on make it. I'm going to center the image based on the paper I'm using. The action is true. Click on continue. Select your machine. I'm using Maker. The material I'm using is light cardstock. Load the black 0.4 millimeters pen in clamp A. This triangle on the pen is a guide to place the pen correctly. Place the pen with the triangle facing you. Press it until you hear a click. Close the clamp. Load the mat. Press the cricket button to start. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to trace the first line took about 1 minute and 45 seconds. Now it's time to change the pen. Remove the pen. Load the gold glitter gel pen. Press the cricket button to continue the job. You are going to repeat these steps for the other lines. Rest assured, cricket will tell you when to change pens and which one is needed. The process of tracing all the rest of lines took about 7 minutes. Here you can see the strokes of each pen. The fine point and glitter pens are great when tracing small letters. 
The medium point and calligraphy pens are great when making signs. As you can see with the calligraphy pens, you can trace thin and thick strokes. I also make a test with the glitter gel pens on white and black cardstock. The best results were in the white cardstock, all the pens show up great. I only used three pens in the black cardstock, I knew the black and blue pens wouldn't show that much on this paper. My favorite is the silver color, it pops. I mainly use Cricut pens to make labels and signs when using color material, especially dark material, since Cricut recommends using only white material for printing cut. Now I'm going to make this sign for a candy bar. I'm using two Cricut fonts, Bookmark and Emeline. Both have a written style. If you want the text to look like a continuous handwritten word, you may need to make a couple of modifications and to choose a proper font. For example, this font is royalty and I'm going to reduce the leather spacing. As you can see, this font won't work as a continuous handwritten word. Now I'm going to do the same with the font Emily, reduce the leather spacing and group the letters and move them manually. This font looks excellent as a continuous handwritten word. I have already selected what pens I'm using on each line. Select everything, click on attach now click on make it. All done, it looks great. Now for this project, I'm going to use two Cricut images. One is this cone that has two layers. If you are subscribed to Cricut Access, you can use it without any additional cost. Or if not, you can buy the image for 90, 90 cents. The other image is this read. This image is also included in Cricut Access. I added text and a circle to make the label. Select all the pieces of the label and press attach. This project is going to be done in three parts. Click on make it. The first part is to draw and cut the label. Second, it cuts one layer of the cone. And the last part is to cut the second layer of the cone. These are the pieces I need to put together the cone. Glue the layers. Glue the label. If you prefer, you could use a sticker paper. Shape the cone and glue the ends. If you want, you can reinforce it with a staple. All done, you can fill the cone with whatever you like, flowers, popcorn, cookies, etc. For these little cards, I'm using watercolor and watercolor paper. You don't need to be an expert to make this. My only recommendation is getting good materials. I'm going to leave you the links of the products I use. For these cards, I'm also using Cricut fonts with a written style and I have already selected the pens. I'm going to remove the frame since I cut the paper to the dimensions I want. Select all, click on attach and then click on make it. They look great. I recommend using the green or purple mat when cutting watercolor paper. Finally, I'm going to make these labels. I have already selected the pens. Select all, click on attach, and then click on make it. 
I use cardstock to make these labels, but if you prefer, you could use black sticker paper. If you are interested in the patterns for the box or succulent, they are available for purchase on my Etsy shop. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocho.com. To be able to use it, you need to have cricket access. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a cricket or the cricket pens, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon! Ciao, ciao!